on campus. A victory bell, certainly. ASU rolls on. They improved to 9-3 and three on the season. Trey Holder was spectacular. More on him in a moment. It was long-distance shooting, certainly. Coach Ben Braun, Darren Sutton, and you as we wrap it up, jumping out to a 10-2 lead with long distance. Well, they did a great job, really, number one, in sharing the ball. Just great spacing on the floor, Darren, and found each other. That's why they were able to get those shots. You have to be patient against Stephen F. Austin, and they were. But obviously, they have a guy by the name of Thomas Walkup that just is their Mr. Everything, and he made it awfully, awfully tough on Arizona State. They didn't go away. They weren't going to go away. Got out to a big lead early. And Arizona State, as they've done all season, had to climb back in this game. They did climb back in the game. You saw Walkup. You saw Gaffard. They had 38 between the two of them and certainly made it a challenge. Gaffard with those 20 points. It was sharing of the basketball. It was the most diminutive one on the four and Trey Holder. Well, Trey Holder was something, wasn't he? 18 points and eight rebounds by the little guy. And what a great effort. But he also did a, a good job of finding Willie Atwood, who was perfect from the line, 10 for 10. Giffard did a good job for Stephen F. Austin. But Cody Justice it was a, kind of an unsung guy today. He didn't shoot the ball well, but he made plays for his team. He found guys, was able to stretch the floor, and he was still a factor for his team today. Good call on the sophomore, Cody Justice. He did have those four assists. ASU with a brief break to see their family and friends for the holidays, and they get back to work on the 28th of December against Cal State Bakerfield. Then it's Arizona on January 3rd to open the Pac-12 season. Coach Braun, I'm Darren Sutton. We'll see you next time. Thanks for logging on for this recap. See you soon on campus.